Oh, well, that ought to work. It's a Patron. All right, let's get this thing inside and, you know, see if we can do anything with it. Patron. I don't know. I'm sorry. That's not ugly. That's oogly. Okay, okay, okay. So what we're going to do here is open this stuff up a little. Did you say war wagon? Welcome to RC Industry. Well, hey, it's Rick here, and welcome back to another exciting episode of Working on the War Wagon. War Wagon? Folks, I've been driving the War Wagon. You know, we've been doing a little repairs. We fixed the steering wheel thing because it just kept wanting to come off. And we got some tunes in it now so you can crank up. Still don't got no speakers. Well, we got that one yard sale speaker. But I was driving around the other day just kicking back and, you know, letting all the pretty women whistle and, and yell at my truck as I drove by. I don't really think they were doing that. But what I noticed was... The dash pad over there where the glove box kind of comes down, you know, where you keep your gloves and stuff. Or when you go to the drive-in, you know, you got a place to set your beverage. Anyway, I noticed it's kind of ugly. That's oogly. It ain't just ugly, it's oogly. But anyway, what I thought today was, we're going to make that thing look just like brand used. We're out here in the shop this morning, and i got to tell you, it's cold. I mean, you know... Technically, it ain't freezing. It's 34 in here. You can see my breath. I mean, come on. That's warm enough, you know, to get out here and, and do some work. Why not? So uh, we are going to try to keep the garage door down. So we'll be going in and out of this door to the outside. So we're going to get out there and get some... Well, first of all, we're going to get some tools here. And uh, we're going to get out there and take that glove box door off and uh, see if we can't make that thing look a little more like brand used. All right, show you more. Well, it's definitely pretty out. The sun's beautiful and boy, if you didn't know better from the way it looks, I'd say it'd be time to get in the swimming pool. But man, that would be a cold plunge. Hey, I was looking at this thing and it looks real simple to me. All we gotta do is take four screws out and this whole thing will just come right off of there. So let's see if we can get that done. Helps if you turn the right direction. Yeah, you know, I like these glove boxes on these old vehicles because you could actually store some stuff on them. And I actually kind of like uh, Dodge's design here with the fuse box right up in here where you can get to it easy too instead of crawling around down there on the floor like some of them. Okay, well let's take this thing in and, and see what we can do once. Mmm, dinner. Yep, dinner. Mouth watering. Mmm. No wonder I'm so fat. So here's what we're gonna do. This old thing is uh, really screw really bad. So let me set you down here and just kind of show you what I'm talking about here a little bit. Uh, you can see this old foam rubber is all deteriorated from the sun, and of course this uh, fake Corinthian leather or whatever this is. I don't think this is Corinthian. This is probably just plastic or vinyl or something. But it's pretty hard. So uh, what I'm gonna do is we're going to take this thing here and we're going to dig all that soft stuff out of there. Take some of this great stuff and we're going to spray down in there and let that get hard and then we'll uh, saw it off, kind of flush. And then we're going to take this uh, this stuff here, this uh, body filler, Rillanora para capascrira, and we're going to smear that on there and then we're going to sand it down shoot up the little paint, maybe some clear. Basically, we're just gonna make it look like brand used. So, let's get started. Yeah, let it snow, it's getting cold. This is a little hard, a little uh, more secure, a little more something than I really thought it might be. I'm just gonna kind of dig some of this out of here. Cause I want something nice and, and solid to adhere to that other new foam, see? So, and uh, I'm just going to kind of put this down in here. Now, I'm going to tell you 
somebody who did this on on the YouTube's there, and uh, actually did a pretty good job of it. Well, there went my toothpick, but I guess I was done with it. Uh, and that's uh, Weird Beard. So I don't know if y'all listen or follow or watch or whatever the proper whatever is, but old Weird Beard there, he did a nice uh, dash reg restoration, reg registration, whatever it is, on that old uh, Fury that he's uh, working on. Now, he got a little more fancy with it than we're going to do. Um, he actually stretch fitted it with some new vinyl. And we're not going to be doing that. But we are going to take and uh, put some of this uh, down in here to fill up these gaps that we hollowed out. And then we're going to take that knife and kind of, you know, saw it down a little. And then we'll take some sandpaper and kind of, you know, feather those edges a little bit and make them smooth. And then we're going to take some of this body putty and mix that up with a little hardener. And we're going to put that on there. And then uh, once we do that, then we'll wait for it to dry. And it is warming up out here. I think it's up to about 45 out here in the garage. So that little heater's working pretty good. But what we're going to do is let that get hard and then we'll sand it down. And, you know, we'll try to put this body line back in it and everything. You know, just make it look like brand used. And then I think we'll just, uh, you know, do the right thing here. And we will uh, put a little uh, foo-foo can over it. And um, I think it'll look all right. It's dang sure going to look a lot better than what it looks like now. All right, so let me get started. Well, that was a nice mess. Now we got all that foam down in there. We better turn that over and see if we can get that out of there. I forgot I ran all that cleaner through there. And you're supposed to purge that, you know. And uh, I didn't do that. Shame on me. But hey, you know, it ain't nothing but a thing. You guys fell down. Okay, let's try this again. Shake this up good. Uh. There, we just got a little bit of it coming out this time. <laughs> That's a lot better. So good and kind of all good, so it doesn't work just exactly perfect. But we're just going to fill up these tracks here, just like so. And these big holes, like this, we'll fill up with this foam. Rolling down these little cracks everywhere, best we can. Now, I mean, I'm going to be able to do it 100% here. Let's see what we'll do here on this edge. There we go. Right here. 
this back right here. Okay, I think that's what we're gonna we're gonna leave it at like that. Okay, so we're gonna let that all kind of dry, and then we're gonna you know trim that down flush, and then we'll we may take some oh I don't know some eighty grit or something and kind of scuff it up a little bit. You know, we're going to may have to work on this yet down here to get this shaped just right with the dash. But all in all, I think it's going to learn, look better. But uh, go down there and check out Weird Beard because he's the king of fixing these dashes like this. He did a really good job on that uh, Plymouth Fury that he's working on. So if you haven't checked out his channel, go check it out. And uh, don't do it like I do. But, you know, hey, we're just making it like brand used here. Okay, so that worked out pretty good. Uh, let's get this thing trimmed off here a little bit. Now I'm just going to take this knife and kind of just kind of cut this excess off. Kind of like that. I don't know. I guess I'm kind of hiding it. You probably can't see it. But just kind of trim all this off like this. And then we'll take us some sandpaper and we'll kind of smooth that all down. So let me get this trimmed off and I'll show you more. open this stuff up a little and uh, I got me one of these little doogee boppers here but it's a little big guys I wanted a little one so I'm gonna cut this and yeah you're not supposed to cut towards yourself you know but I am okay oh that, that plastic is hard and cold from being out here in the garage Whew. okay so that'll give me a little bit of a... So we're going to open up this plastic here. And listen, I'm a plastic smearer from way back. So uh, I don't know if we've done any on the channel for a few years. You could go way back on some of the videos and, and you'll see some other plastic smearing. But generally, we just kind of paint stuff. We don't fix too much. But, you know, I was like, well, hey, why don't we... Uh, why don't we just smear a little bit of this stuff on here? And so that's what we're going to do. So we're going to get this plastic up here, or Bondo, or this happens to be Bondo brand, which, you know, uh, it was all that I could find. I actually had some up on the shelf, but it had gotten so hard and dried out, I couldn't even break any of it out of there so all right so let's take some of this hardener now the more hardener you put on this the faster it's going to set up so just you know get ready so we're going to put a few oh that ought to be ample plenty there i'm gonna go ahead and turn this around okay so we're going to start mixing this up and i just and i'm using a magazine here uh, because I can tear this page off, these slick magazine pages, and uh, that's kind of what I'm using. Um, somewhere around here, I have got a black, or I mean a piece of plastic or plexiglass, but I couldn't find it. That tells you how long it's been since we've done any, any work like this. Okay, so we've only got a couple of minutes here, and this stuff will start getting hard. So what we want to do... Just come in here and we're gonna smear some of this on here and work it down in there because I want it to be there I want to be able to sand it out you know what I'm saying just just work it down in there 
And you'll be surprised how long this will actually last up there on the dash in that heat. Now, I know there's probably a proper way. Well, I guess the proper way would have been to have bought one of these. And I did find one on Marketplace. Um, but it really wasn't much better than this one. And then I found a nice one on eBay. But you know how eBay is. They want a fortune. I mean, I was going to have to leave a pint of blood for a deposit plus my firstborn in order to just make a down payment. So, you know, that's just out of the question. And unfortunately, the junkyards around me that have uh, any of these old trucks like this, uh, they actually um, are just as bad a shape as this one is. So, all right, so I'm going to mix up some more of this and finish coating this, and then after this gets dry, we'll take another look at it. All right, show you more. See, it's, it's hard now. It's been about, oh, I don't know, half hour or so. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a sanding block, and I've got some pretty stiff paper on it, and I'm going to, you know, shape this up a little bit and uh, kind of the same here. You know, I want to try to, there's this little indentation kind of runs down along through here, but it, it disappears right in here and then it becomes just round. So it's kind of an interesting design. Uh, it kind of mimics the dash, if you will, on the other side. Whoops, let me, on the other side, you know, with the instrument cluster. So, because uh, it's kind of, Okay, guys, I don't know what happened, but the old camera just died. I had to get a different camera, so we're going to finish it up with this one. Anyway, I got this sanded somewhat smooth, and um, we're just going to take some uh, spray paint and, you know, on that a little bit, and then we're going to call it good. So I'll show you when we get done. Okay, so what we got is this thing. I brought it out here and let it set in the sun a little bit. Uh, I mean, it ain't warm out here, but the sun is warm, so, but she's beginning to go down, so let's see if we can get this thing put on here, and uh, I don't have my other camera, so I don't have any way to set you somewhere where you can watch, but I'm just going to hold that up on there and run them screws back in it. All right, show you more. It's hard to hold that thing and run that screw in at the same time. Okay. All right. Well, it's still the paint is a little, a little wet yet. But you know what? It don't look that bad, guys. I mean, it looks a lot better than it did, and that's what I was going for. You know, just like brand used. Okay, guys and gals. Uh, I just got a call while I was filming that, and uh, there's an old boy that's going to come out here, and he's going to come out here and buy the old war wagon. So uh, I guess maybe it's going to a new home. I was going to try to have some fun with it in the snow, but uh, <laughs> I guess I didn't get to that. So anyway, anyway, thanks for coming along today, and thanks for subscribing and sharing. And, you know, uh, I don't know what the next project's going to be here on the channel, but um, I'm uh, actively searching. Let me get my hand out of the way. I've not ever used this camera before. Trying to figure out how to hold it. Yeah, so uh, uh, I've not uh, found anything on Marketplace, and um, I've been trying to, you know, find some other places like that that have stuff. So if you know of a ve vehicle for sale, uh, I'm looking for a station wagon still. You guys know that, but, boy, I haven't had any luck with that. Uh, and, of course, my budget is really, really not very very much i want to try to you know spend as little as possible i mean we've not spent over a thousand dollars on any of these projects yet so as far as purchasing them outright and uh you know anymore it's getting harder and harder to find anything so you guys know that but anyway so if you know of something drop me a drop me a line down below uh oh my send me a text or well i don't think my phone number's on there but you can send me an email that's on there and uh, i'll get back with you so anyway again Thanks for coming along and thanks for sharing. And uh, just like always, we're making it just like brand used here, baby.
down the street. I was minding my own affair. Run, Tallulah, run! Hi, baby. 